Hi loves, what is up? It's your girl Shakili here back at it with another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I install um this frontal unit. So I am showing you guys the frontal. This hair that I'll be using in this video is from Tanashi Hair. I've worked with them before and I loved their hair. So I decided to go ahead and do another video um partnering partnering up with them so this is their 20 inch frontal and i got a 28 26 and 24 inch bundles and um right now what you guys see me doing is just mixing up my mixture of 30 volume and um bw2 lightener and i just mix it to where it's a very thick consistency and then i am just pasting it on the back of the frontal i allow this to sit for about 10 minutes and then wash it out with some shimmer light shampoo and that is pretty much it so the texture of this hair is um just straight and i had this look envisioned for a long time so i knew that i wanted to do something like this something that will have these people out here thinking it's a sewing you feel me but your girl really just laid that front so nice okay so <laughs> um i'm just pasting it on allowing it to sit and then we're gonna jump into i never hit oh. and i heard every word you were saying you've been complaining well, what did it baby and do you mean saying y'all i be going through my jamming sessions when i be doing my hair that's just like you just have to have music on when you're doing your hair and if you don't then i don't know what you're doing but right now you guys see me just cutting off the excess cap of my cap <laughs> and i am just using my scissors to do this i just want to mimic my actual hairline but not get too close to my actual hairline if that makes sense Cause the whole point of a frontal is to oh, all right, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> the whole point of a frontal is to um, be in front of your hairline. So I'm just cleaning off my hair with some um, rubbing alcohol. My hairline, make sure that the glue will have a clean base to stick to, and then we're gonna jump into actually applying the unit. So this is a custom made unit. I make my units by machine, um, a sewing machine. I just applied my color foundation to the lace and now I am just putting it on my head, making sure it fits properly, that it's lined up how I want it to be. And for some reason, you guys, my um, my camera has like this edit on it that makes me look super orange. So you guys will see me change that like later on in the video. But as you guys can see, this is the frontal and I'm just making sure that everything fits because I do not want to look crazy. Um then i like to pull back the frontal and then i'm gonna go in with using the bold hold active glue um i had to get the big one because my clients be rolling in and that little bottle is not cutting it anymore <laughs> so i just like to smear it across my forehead using a popsicle stick and I just allow it to dry clear and then I will go ahead and apply the next coat. I think I did about two layers of this glue and that was pretty much it because I wasn't planning on having this installed for a really long time. Um, so while the glue dries, I kind of have to hurry up and go ahead and cut off the lace because I don't like to apply the lace down into the glue and melt everything with the lace still on it some people do i don't i tried it so i just think that this is easier and it's an extra step that you know you don't need to take if you cut it off right now so that's pretty much what i do and i like to use a eyebrow razor just because i don't know i don't feel like the scissors I feel like using scissors doing this is a bit more complicated because you have to move your hand in that zigzag motion, whereas the eyebrow razor is a bit more easier. So this is the second layer of the boho glue that I'm using. And again, smearing it with the popsicle stick and then going back in to cut off that excess lace.
right so now that we did that we're going to start by pressing the lace into the glue making sure that everything is lined up properly and i just start from wherever my part is um normally i'd start from the middle if i had a middle part but i have a side part so i'm starting from the actual part i don't know why i like to do it this way i just do and then i am just making sure that everything is melted into the glue and making sure that I get those air tabs down. And then I like to take my hands and just press and submerge everything into the glue so that it's a bit more secure. So as you guys can see, I have some areas where the glue, um, where there is no glue, so there's a piece of that lace sticking up. So I just like to go in with a rat tail comb and some glue on the end of it. And I like to just apply it to those areas and yeah so you guys see me cutting off my air tab because obviously you do not need that excess lace tab for what <laughs> so I'm just cutting it off with my scissors now I know a lot of people have um, problems with doing this I used to have a lot of problems with the air tabs but the more I did it was the it became easier so um if you're a beginner, I'll recommend to part it first and then cut it. Don't do what I just did. I do it a lot that I know how to do it now, but part it out and then you should be fine. So I'm just going in with some free spray just for some extra strength and some hold on this unit. And now we're going to go ahead and customize the front of our, well, we're just going to cut the baby hairs first. And I just like to do this. Um, prior to tying my hair down so that everything can, you know, be kind of melted and molded even before we make the baby hairs. So I'm just tying my hair down with a cotton scarf, nothing to it, making sure that we tie this thing down real tight, honey, because when we take this off, we want this thing to look like a fresh sewing, like the lace is not even there, okay? So you got to go through all the steps to get that final product. And watch this. Oh, girl. Yes. So as you guys can see, I took that edit off. I didn't know what that was. And just a little tip. So I actually decided to add some tracks in the front of the frontal so that I can get that more full look. Because um, you guys know the longest frontal inches are 20 inch. Now, when you have a 26, 28 inch bundles, it kind of looks crazy if you're doing a side part. So I added some bundles in the top and I feel like it made this whole thing look 10 times better. Um, that was my first time doing this and I actually really love the way that it turned out. So I am going to customize my baby hair on um, that side, just that last, like that sideburn part. And I'm just cutting it and then doing the same for my one baby hair. Because I, I didn't want to do too much baby hairs. I really just wanted everything to look sleek, nice, and clean. So I'm not really cutting this baby hair too short. I kind of wanted to have like a nice swoop. Ooh, child. That eyebrow razor is dull. <laughs> so I'm going in with my Gorilla Snot. And I'm using this because the Gorilla Snot has more of a hold and more of a gelled look. And that's the look I was going for. I didn't want anything soft or, you know look like it can be moved i want it to be set nice sleek i want all of that so that's why i went in with that gel and look at that y'all that joint flat okay oh my gosh it's exciting y'all excited <laughs> so i am doing the same thing to my sideburn baby hair and i'm just customizing it making sure that is how i want it to be i like that kind of swoop like that under back way swoop y'all see what i'm talking about so um now for the front of our baby hairs i'm just going in and taking out some of that hair because i felt like it was just too much hair right there and it did not look natural to me and then we're just brushing our baby hairs in the direction that we would want it to go and then i'm just cutting off any excess long pieces that i felt like just did not look right and then, you know, I'm just checking it out, checking it out. 
we almost done. Almost, almost done. So now this is me just like putting my finish touches on all of this. Making sure that it's how I want it to look and that I'm okay with how it looks. If not, I'll go in, either pluck more or change the way the baby hair looks or go over it or cut it shorter. You know, just, just some little stuff. All right, y'all. Y'all gonna laugh at me a little bit later down the line when y'all see that clip. I'm giving y'all a heads up now, okay? <sighs> Don't laugh at me because we all been there and we all felt it, okay? You gonna see what I'm talking about. <laughs> but I am just going in with um, my Conair flat iron, straightening out the front. This hair was already straightened even before I installed it. I kind of just wanted to avoid doing that long tiring process on camera. Woo, child. Oh, my gosh. Here I go, y'all. Don't laugh at me. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> I'm just flat ironing the top. Oh, loud. Slow motion. Oh, my gosh. That was the ugliest face ever. <laughs> and then I tried to play it off and go back in on the same spot. I got flashbacks of when I was burnt, y'all. That's what that was. And I know y'all. I know y'all another one <laughs> y'all been there okay if y'all have a cuter burning face let me know in the comments down below if y'all face be turned up like mine then you know what it's okay it's okay <laughs> so i'm showing you guys the body of the hair and y'all this thing is flowing it's touching my butt so this is pretty much how the hair looks and i love it i love it i love it all right, y'all. So there we have it. It's looking like a fresh sewing. I was full of everybody on Instagram. They was like, girl, this thing look like a sewing. Yeah, that's the point. That is the plan. We want it to look like it's not a lace, okay? So I finessed this thing really good. I'm showing you guys how flat my units are. And yeah, you all, this is the finished look. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you made it to the end of the video, if you made it to that burn part, Thank you for watching. <laughs> I appreciate it. And before we go, today's motivational quote is, if it's for you, it will come for you. No chasing, no anxiety, and no stress. What's for you can never, be, can never pass you by. Trust the process and stop worrying. So with that being said, I will see you loves in my next one. Bye.